several new laws are officially on the books in Oregon. One bans discrimination against people based on their sexual orientation in Oregon. Last May, the governor signed that bill along with another bill to create domestic partnerships. The domestic partnership law is delayed pending a February hearing. A U.S. District Court judge has agreed to revisit a petition by anti-gay activists that was originally disqualified. Gays and lesbians across Oregon have thought today would be a day to register for domestic partnerships, but instead of celebrating, they're holding a vigil since that new law was put on hold. K2's Anita Kase joins us live now in southeast Portland, where one of those vigils is taking place tonight. Go ahead, Anita. This really has been a huge disappointment for so many same-sex couples. You can see them tonight. They have literally jam-packed the Q Center, some of them mourning this decision and trying to bring attention to the damage they say it's doing to Oregon families. The issue is this. Opponents of domestic partnerships were 116 signatures short of the number needed to get this on the November ballot. They filed a last-minute lawsuit claiming several county clerks wrongfully invalidated 254 of those signatures. Law supporters think it's ridiculous to give signatures on a petition the same weight as an actual vote, but Friday the judge granted a temporary delay until he can take a deeper look at this issue. So folks are just really you know, struggling with um, the reality of needing to take care of each other without the rights and responsibilities that the domestic partnership law provides. Now the law would not have allowed gay and lesbian couples to marry, but it would give them 500 different rights and benefits that married couples have, things like inheritance rights, custody, and health insurance. Now these vigils like this one here in southeast Portland are really going on all around Oregon tonight, seven different countries. The issue does go back to court on February 1st, but as much as this is a disappointment tonight, they are also celebrating because another law did go into effect that actually bans discrimination for things like gender, transgender. So they are celebrating that law tonight, but again, warning the other law as well. Live in Southeast Portland, I needed to say, K2 News. Anita, thank you very much.